The Michigan Soybean Promotion Committee is proud to offer this soybean harvest video featuring Mike Staten of Michigan State University Extension. Well, we're here in beautiful Bay County on the campus of Delta College and uh, Delta helped us sponsor our eighth annual Soybean Harvest Equipment Field Day. And uh, farmer operators are Burke Farms. John and John and Matt Burke uh, operated this ground for us. And uh, the purpose of today's field day was to help us identify where soybean harvest losses occur and how we can prevent them. Why do we want to do that? Well, every bean that we've lost in the field is one that's not going to market, and we want to reduce that. So on average, uh, most university specialists would say that we're losing about one bushel of preventable losses per acre. It doesn't sound like much, but remember the key word is preventable. And if you get in certain conditions, it can be as high as, oh gosh, I don't know, four or five bushels per acre very easily. So we just want to be careful and, and do the best job we can. So what we had out here today was four different combine heads, three draper heads, and an auger head. And two of the combines had air-assisted reels, or air bars, all equipment that's designed to help us reduce our losses. The other thing that was neat out here today is one of the combines, uh, the head, the grower, went right through and replaced every single knife section, every single guard on there. Just really um, did a nice job of that, and that helped a lot. We use one-foot squares and we only focus on the gathering losses. We don't focus on the cleaning and separating losses. That's not our goal. Most agronomists will tell you or engineers will tell you it's 80 to 90 percent of your loss comes from the front of the combine. So what we do is you take these one foot squares, we drive the combines into the crop to where the company reps feel they got a good rep representative sample, we drop them on the ground, we do that 10 times, we count the number of beans that we find on the ground either in pods or loose on the ground, and uh, there's a rule of thumb that if you've lost four beans per square foot, you've lost a bushel per acre. So that's the information that we're trying to teach the producers and uh, how not to lose that, that bushel or two bushels per acre. So again, we're, we're really focused on gathering losses at the front of the combine, not, not the rear of the combine. So what we've asked the operators to do is to drive into the crop and then stop and back up about 20 feet. Then we get in front of there and we throw the one foot squares and we measure the gathering losses. Bottom line to today's field day is that gathering losses at the header account for 80 to 90 percent of all of your harvest losses. Therefore, it's really important to get out of the combine and check for harvest losses anytime conditions change. These could be moisture changes in the crop, uh, variety changes, standability changes, anything like that. You really might need to make some changes in your adjustments. One of the most common things we see is uneven or ragged cut of the stubble. If that's happening, always inspect your knives and guards first. What's the, what's the condition of the, of the cutting system? Second thing to do is to slow down your ground speed. And I know we don't like to do that, but that's very important, especially in lodged beans. Uh, one of the recommendations for picking up lodged beans is to reduce your ground speed, but you increase your reel speed a little bit more than you normally would. A second problem we typically see is uneven feeding in wide row situations. And a real simple solution to that is just harvest on an angle. The beans will feed much better if you harvest on an angle when you plant it in wide rows. A uh, third situation we'll see sometimes is shelled or loose beans on the ground. The number one culprit for this is either improper reel position or reel speed. And by improper Real position, it's either too deep in the canopy or it's too far forwards. Real speed, typically we want to reduce that to maybe 10 to 20% faster than your ground speed. If you follow those recommendations, that should help you through this year's harvest season. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to see more soybean production videos and check out the links in the description box below for more information.